Hello, I'm Dr. Daniel Daves. My wife Tracy and I landed in Panama after starting our journey from Dallas, Texas, Costa Rica, eventually Panama. Well, we have always fed children, widows, orphans, and uh, done business at the same time. And we decided around 2010, it was time to launch into Latin America to find a 12 month growing season, grow food, process it, and give it out to the poor. That's always been our deal, and so it was our dream. We launched in to Costa Rica because we only knew one person in Latin America, and he was in Costa Rica. We spent three and a half years there looking for prime farmland, looking for uh, the place for us to, to grow food for 12 months out of the year, and we never found it. Then we found Panama. It didn't take us long to get moved there because the land was cheap, the government was uh, helpful for farmers and for people that are starting up agriculture. And, uh, and the people here were so nice. The roads are straight. Everything was set for us. And we landed in Boquete, Panama, the little mountain town paradise where so many people come for tourism and so many people come to retire. Well, we're not retired yet. We work hard. We found the farm, we built the farm, and now we are growing superfoods. We dehydrate them, turn them into powder uh, soup mixes and, uh, and different products for the indigenous, for those with severe malnutrition, and for widows and orphans in distress. So we're glad to be here and uh, plan on being here as long as we possibly can in a 12-month growing environment with beautiful weather year round. Once we finally found Boquete and landed there, we started looking for farmland. Farmland is everywhere, but it's not always that easy to pick out a piece and find what you're looking for. Finally, a realtor friend found the piece. It was the dream. We stood on it and said, I think this is it. We bought it and started building 6,000 meters of greenhouse, which you see back behind me now. It took us a year to build this. We wanted to learn exactly how to do it, so we built it ourselves. Not that I'll ever do that again, but I now know how to build greenhouses. And we always wondered, you always wonder as a farmer, am I on the right piece of land? Well, after building for a while, we knew our river ran out of water and we were gonna have to drill a well. So we brought in the big well company and over and over for three months, they came back to the same point and said, you have to drill here. There's some activity here. So we drilled and while they were drilling, I sat with the owner of the company. It was kind of a funny story. And I said, how many gallons a minute are we gonna get out of this well? And uh, he said, everyone gets 25 to 35. Just count on that. And I said, I will bet you $1, I'm gonna get more. And he laughed and his employees laughed and we all pulled out a dollar and did the little photo thing. We're betting a dollar. Well, when they hit at 102 feet, uh, they hit something and they said, we have to stop. There's something going on here. Uh, we don't want to go any further in case we puncture and lose it. I said, fine, you're the pros. So they did a backwards thing. And when they backwards, uh, they, they punch the water in the air. And if it's five feet, it's 20 gallons, six feet, it's 30 gallons. This thing went 35 feet tall in the air. They all stood back. And I walked up to the man, I said, so what do we got? He said, you have 150 gallons a minute. You're one of the few wells in Panama with that kind of water flow. I said, give me my dollar. <laughs> and so we knew we were on the right farm, baby. With 150 gallons a minute, we can water and feed anything in the area. We were so excited about that. That's what landed us in Panama, Chiriqui, Boquete, and eventually our farm is in Puerto Rios. Well, I'm standing here in section one of our nine section greenhouse, and this is our superfood section. As you may see, uh, we have got bok choy, collard greens, blue kale, Swiss chard, um, and many other things growing in here. Uh, these are absolute superfoods that when a person eats this, 
super nutrition uh, begins to feed their brain, their bodies, uh, give them the ability to grow, to build healthy bones and healthy bodies. Around the world, we've found over the last decades that so many people are malnutritioned simply because they don't eat greens. And uh, that's pretty typical also in Latin America. So what we have been able to do is grow these superfoods and we have a very special process where we can get these superfoods into the rice and beans of the indigenous and of those that are really in need of nutrition. From growing the superfoods, we bring them out to our processing area and we have wonderful volunteers that come from all over Cherokee to help us cut, slice, dice, prepare the foods and then we put them in the dehydrator where we, we dehydrate and powderize them. And here is the finished process of what the powder looks like. You can see this little bag ends up being multiple pounds of superfood. And what an indigenous or a, an impoverished family may do is they're going to take one big heaping tablespoon and uh, they're, they're going to put it in the rice, infuse it in the rice while it's cooking, and the whole family has just eaten a pound of kale, Swiss chard, and mustard greens. It's powerful. And uh, we are so thankful if you ever happen to, uh, to, to move out here to Panama, consider coming out, donating some time, meet some friends, Panamanian, indigenous, uh, uh, from the United States, Canada, Europe, from all over the world where we converge and we meet and we prepare superfoods helping the poor uh, through this opportunity. Once we take the powderized superfoods into the indigenous zones, uh, the Comarca, different places where people are really struggling and hurting, we educate them on why you need greens, why you need super greens, and, and uh, then we allow them to taste the power of these foods mixed in with the rice. And it's an amazing taste that actually has the children running back for more. Because we do integrate spinach into it, we tell them this is the superfood of Popeye's, what makes him strong. And, uh, and of course, they, they all know Popeye here in Latin America. He's still on their cartoons every Saturday. So, uh, so they said, well, if Popeye eats it, let me try it. And once the kids try it, the family's hooked because the kids love it. And so then we're able to give them packets of superfood uh, that will help them nutritionally grow healthy bodies, great minds that can think all the way through college, and so much more. You know, Panama is such a diverse nation in Latin America. Maybe it's because of the Panama Canal, the gateway to the east and the west, but there's such a convergence of nationalities and people groups here who come and live, and do business, and retire, and uh, even better is the, the residents and the citizens of Panama. Such kind, generous people, and the culture is so different, and I don't know if the right word is tranquil, it's so, uh, it's so different. It, from the world I came from, it's move, 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 faster, faster, faster. Here, it's like tranquilo. Hey, uh, don't have a heart attack here. Let's live another day. <laughs> and we love it here in Panama because of that. And I think that it would be a great opportunity for you to come and check out, whether it's Panama City, whether it's the heat zones, the cold zones, the in-between zones, it's just unbelievable. There's something here for everyone in Panama, in my opinion. And I think that if you come and check out all these different zones, you're gonna find that special place that's just right for you.
You know, some people who come to Panama want to start a business of some kind, and uh, there are so many needs in Panama. Uh, it's really the Wild West that needs to be developed. And so if you have that entrepreneurial uh, blood flowing through you, just realize when you come in to start something, you're probably going to have to create it. You may have to develop it fully because it may not be here yet. But that is a perfect zone and a place where you can paint your own picture as a business person. I would recommend uh, get some wisdom from people who have already done uh, different types of businesses and just get some ideas. Write out a list of 100 questions before you start the business because once you get those answered, the connecting the dots is very, very easy and I think you'll have a great time in this wonderful culture and this 12-month growing environment where the weather is beautiful all year around. You're going to really love it here. We moved into Boquete originally, this beautiful, high up, cool mountain town. And, uh, but our business activities and getting us into the farm of, uh, of our dream required us uh, to buy that farmland 30 minutes away. The nice deal is I, I got a 30 minute drive to my farm every day. I can clear my mind, drink some coffee, prepare for the day, and then we land. This is a little bit different zone. It's a little warmer here. Um, and we have a beautiful growing environment. Uh, but then at the end of the day, we pack the farm up and I head back to that beautiful little mountain town where my wife and I love it to be cool. And it's always cool there. I highly recommend that you take a tour and come see all of Panama. It's so diverse, it's so different. You're gonna love every piece, but I would imagine one of them is gonna catch your attention, just like it did us. So come on down. When you get to Boquete, get into this zone in Chiriqui, come look us up.